baada ya muda mrefu leo rasmi tunazindua ama tumefanikiwa kuzindua a project inaitwa seed project a seed ni kifupi cha sports for education and economic development na lengo mama la project hii ni kutumia michezo hususan mpira wa kikapu kuweza kuwaweka vijana kwenye mazingira ambayo wanaweza kupata elimu iliyokuwa bora mafunzo ya mpira ya mpira wa kikapu yaliyokuwa bora lakini pia kuweza kuandaa vyema kwa ajili ya mahitaji yao ya kiuchumi hapo baadaye na kwa ujumla wake kujenga uchumi wa taifa kwa ujumla kupitia michezo kwa hiyo seed inatumika kama platform ama kama machinery ya kuweza kusaidia vijana kuwa katika nafasi hiyo na kama mlivyoona leo tumekuwa na vijana takriban na hamsini lakini kumekuwa pia kuna kundi ambalo ambalo kwa sisi tunaamini lina uhitaji zaidi ambalo ni la vijana kati ya miaka saba mpaka miaka mbili huko pia tukiwa na makundi ya wasichana na wavulana kwa pamoja kwa hiyo uh, pamoja nami uh, ni wa, wadau ama wahusika waliofanikisha uh, project hii uh, kushoto kwangu huyu anaitwa Joe Lopez Joe Lopez ndio Mwafrika wa kwanza uh, najua watu wengi mnafahamu labda Kimo Lajuan Dikembe Mutombo wachezaji wakubwa ambao wamewahi kucheza kwenye NBA lakini wote wasingecheza kama isingekuwa Joe Lopez yeye ndio Mwafrika wa kwanza kuweza kucheza uh, college basketball division 1 NCAA uh, nchini Marekani na baada ya hapo kwa sasa ndio rais wa Seed Global Seed Project kwa ujumla wake hii ni Seed Tanzania mimi ndo mwenyekiti wake lakini yeye ndio uh, rais wa Seed Project uh, Globally na kushoto kwangu huyu ni uh, ni watu waliofanikisha ama tuseme ni waliofanikisha zaidi shughuli hii mnaiona hapa leo kwa ajili ya kuweza ku provide funding uh, ni afisa mahusiano ya umma wa ubalozi wa Marekani anaitwa James Rodriguez na kulia kwangu ni bwana Ruben Ndege ambaye yeye ni mkuu wa ubunifu na mikakati wa Clouds Media Group ambao wao ndio wameweza kufanikisha kwa namna moja ama nyingine kutangaza tukio hili mpaka tukapata vijana katika hatua ya kwanza screening ambayo ilikuwa ni vijana takriban 300 mpaka tumeweza kubaki nao takriban na hamsini Every project, every program have a story. Uh, I like to tell you the story of Seed because it's important that you have a context in which you're speaking from. Uh, Seed project was created, was founded, founded and created 23 years ago in 1998 by a gentleman by the name of Amadou Gallo Fow, who is today a senior executive in the NBA and also the president of Basketball Africa League. Remember what I just said, because I'm going to come back to that a little later in uh, the brief speech I'm going to give you. Uh, SEED is um, an academy, sports for education and economic development. Uh, it's for bringing awareness of education and sports, the connection to the youth of our country, Senegal, and of our continent. That's why we're here today. Uh, let me speak about the, speak pro the seed project in Senegal because it's the mother ship, so to speak. And uh, we have three programs at the uh, seed project. That's part of the process too. Um, we have a program called Seed Ride. Seed Rise is the program we brought here today uh, to Tanzania, thanks to Nikesius. Why I say thanks to Nikesius, three years ago I saw Nikesius in Senegal. He came to the Hoop Forum that Seed organizes every year where we bring the basketball community from the world to come to Senegal and share their knowledge about basketball. And I saw young Nikesius in the lobby of the hotel in Senegal and he told me, um, I want to bring C Tanzania. I mean, C to Tanzania. So I'm looking at this, this young man. I'm, I'm looking at the program. I said, "Who's this kid?" You know, I, I said it in a good way. And then, but he was insisting. And three years later, he's sitting right next to me, talking about C Tanzania. So I think we should give him a big round of applause. So, Seed Rise. It's a it's a grassroots developmental program where we focus on the youth between seven years old to about 12, 13. And where we teach the children the skills of basketball 
but more importantly, the skills of life. Because basketball is a sport where you must think at all times. It's one of the few sports where you, you have to make decisions while you're doing it. You have to run, you know, you have to know when to stop, pass, dribble, shoot, set screens. I'm using basket, basketball terminology, but a basketball players grow to that. And we teach those children that from a very young age. It's unfortunate that you, didn't, you were not here earlier. These young children here, this that I'm pointing to, were doing a drill where they had a lot of obstacles on the floor and they were blindfolded and they were divided in teams. And the object of the, of the game was to go through the obstacle without knocking the obstacle off. And the, the teammates were guiding them, it, go right, go left, stop, go straight. You know, at this young age, when you start developing those skills, that means you can work in any environment, whether it's in sports, in government or in the private sector. Because we're gonna work with people we like, we don't like, but you have to work with them, right? So that's what we teach at the grassroots level. And some of them will eventually love the game so much and they'll be good at it. And then they'll go to the next phase of our program, which is the Seed Academy, where we also focus heavily on academic. We have a campus in Chess, Senegal, where the, the boys and the girls stay there and they come, they go to school and they train basketball. So they're student athlete. I repeat, student first, athlete second. So from the grassroots development program, we hope to attract the future elite program of elite players of our seed program uh, at the academy. So we, we may find children from Tanzania come to Senegal to study and to play basketball. And then that brings me to the next, uh, the third component of the seed project is we have Seed Monroe. Monroe is a university in the United States, in Brooklyn, New York. And uh, we signed a partnership two years ago where now I was graduate. Of course, you have to graduate from high school, pass the SAT, SAT, TOEFL, to be admitted and those kids from Senegal, they do online education.